This is Real Talk with Monica Gas. Guess what? Hey, the Oscars might be over, but guess what? We bring the Oscars down here in Richmond, VA. You hear it? Richmond, VA. We are bringing the Oscars here, guys. I have a dynamic. You hear me? Dynamic. And man, thank you, Mr. Vincent Ellis White. I think I got the new <laughs> scandal writer right here, baby. <laughs> Courtesy of you and I want guys let me tell you something when I got that phone call you know that phone call saying you got Iris Bowling coming here I said uh oh and they told me about <laughs> what's going on with the hot TV series you know I had to drop everything I'm doing you see these bags under these eyes I got them. cause when I saw that James <laughs> Brooks honey y'all see that promo he fine now I'm going to secretly ask Alice to put me in the role. You know, the TV hostess, you know, go on that interview, that attorney general. I got a case going on, and then we had a love it office fail going on. Ashley, don't get mad. See, this is the young and the restless, and I'm bringing it right down here in V8 tonight, guys. Now, let me stop cutting up, because we got to get down to serious business now. Like my friends in seriousness. So... Guys, I want you to don't stay. Look, this TV is going to be blowing up with phone calls. Well, let me first introduce you to the beautiful, talented Iris Bowling, the writer, director, producer, everything else, executive, and all of that and more. And then <laughs> we got an added treat. We have our co producer, Judith Mo Wormsley, that's going to be here, guys. And look, don't, and look, guys. I want you to stay tuned and watch. Real Talk is bringing it, guys, right here in RVA. What did I tell you? We're doing it tonight. So, let me introduce you to the beautiful, talented Iris Bowen. Welcome to Real Talk. Thank you so much for having me, Monica. I appreciate it. Man, I told you before we had started that I put your picture on my Facebook page, and no man just went crazy. <laughs> you know, the number one question was, is you married? <laughs> I reserve the right okay. <laughs> to, 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 to protect the innocent. <laughs> to protect the innocent. Okay, guys. So that's what one of the questions was on Facebook. Is she right? Okay. Oh, so, wow. Iris, let me t um, tell my um, Real Talk viewers a little bit about yourself. Um, I was I was born in Richmond in the cross shop corner of Cornfield. <laughs> Back over the north side somewhere. No. Real, real Talk. Hey, I mean, Real Talk. <laughs> No, uh, I, I really was. I was born in Richmond, not in the cornfield. Yeah. <laughs> I was born in, in, in Richmond. Uh -huh. um, went to um, Scott Elementary, went to mm -hmm. Chandler Middle School, which mm -hmm. is no longer Chandler, mm -hmm. and um, a couple of years at John Marshall before I actually moved to New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And um, then I graduated from Jersey, did college mm -hmm. in Jersey, and then I came back home because this is home. Oh, wow. Yeah. What made you become a writer? Do you want me to be honest or you want yeah. me to tell you the political correct way? Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, I, I was a little um, um, distracted with some things that was happening at work. Mm -hmm. And um, I came home, I decided to mm -hmm. um, take a mini vacation okay. um, from work. And while I was home, I got bored. Mm -hmm. And my, my son said, um, I said, was well, nothing on TV, nothing yeah. to do that. Uh, he said, well, go write something. You always, you know, talk about there's nothing on TV. You always writing anyway. Go mm -hmm. write something. Mm -hmm. So at the time, it was back in 2007, we had a president that, a president that wasn't um, very good to us. Yeah. So I decided to write my own president. And that is actually how it, that's actually how it started. That's how the heart series. That's how the heart series started. Right. So I wrote J D. Harrison. And you kept writing to what? What five books? In the heart series, there's six, six books. books. I actually okay. have eighteen novels. Wow. Um, to date, I have eighteen novels. What um what, what made you just came up with these characters? Now I introduced the women because the first thing when I when I seen James Rose, I got to ask about him. Yeah. <laughs> what made you come up with this character? Um. I wanted I wanted the honest to goodness a, a good guy to yeah. be president of the United States, mm -hmm. and of course this was before mm -hmm. um, 
President Obama, mm -hmm. because I did this series back in, um, started in 2007, and right in midstream, mm -hmm. of course, President Obama came yeah. in. So I had to go in, I had to change my wording because I had uh -huh. first African American president. Uh -huh. So we had to go in, we had to change that a little bit, uh -huh. but I was okay to do that. Yeah. Um, but I wanted a, 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 a good guy to be in mm -hmm. the White House. I wanted right. a good guy to run the country. Right. And I figured the only way that I was gonna get a good guy is if I developed him and I rolled him and I created him. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what we did with JD. Well, you know, when I, I just kind of prelude to a little bit of about, like you might get this comparison to Scandal. Mm -hmm. What makes your TV series a little bit different? Because on most of the series that you, you see on TV, mm -hmm. you, you see them when they're running for president or mm -hmm. when they have become president, mm -hmm. such as with Scandal. Mm -hmm. What you do, what you get with the Heart series is you meet JD as he meets those people that he surrounds himself self with. Mm -hmm. So you not only get to meet him and see his growth mm -hmm. into this political field, you get to meet his wife the same time that yeah. he meets him. You get to meet his campaign manager, which is um, James Brooks, yeah. the same time that he meets him. Mm -hmm. And you get to identify with the people that is surrounding the man. Right. One thing that we have learned from President Obama's um, terms mm -hmm. in the White House is that it's not just that one man mm -hmm. who is running our country. Mm -hmm. So what we get to do is we get to see the people whom he surrounds himself mm -hmm. with as well as um, the man, his growth into politics and the reason why he gets into politics. Mm -hmm. So you get to see him from beginning. Right. From the beginning all the way through. Okay, so like the growth stages. And you know what? Yes. And, and when you make that inference about team, that's why I got to bring Judith in here. Yes. That's your team partner. That's my team partner. <laughs> I was an afterthought, I think. No, Judith. Welcome to Real Talk. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us, tell the viewers a little bit about yourself and your position with the heart. Okay. Um, I won't go back to to my yeah. <laughs> to my schooling or anything. Yeah. <laughs> but but I, I was born in in Petersburg. I'm, okay. I'm an Army brat, so when I was growing up, I grew up in a whole lot of different places. So mm -hmm. Richmond is hometown. Right. But I didn't grow up here. Mm -hmm. And I got involved with Iris. Like I said, it was an afterthought <laughs> because she had written her first book. Yeah. And our sons went to school together. Okay. And so first she asked him, who can I get to, to mm -hmm. do a cover? Mm -hmm. And his first suggestion was my son because he mm -hmm. kind of dabbles in art also. Right. And so <laughs> when she spoke with my son, right at that time I was going to do the first Friday's art walk. Okay. And I was going to be in the Franklin Street um, right. mm -hmm. Library. Right. So he said, um, ask my mother. She, she draws a little bit. Uh -huh. So first time she she met me and the first time that she saw my work, she came to my to my opening. Uh -huh. And she says that she came in there and she looked. And I, I do I do large works. A lot yeah. of my works yes, are large. Yes, like yeah. and um she said she looked around and then she called my son to him. He's about he's about 6'5". Mm -hmm. Right. And she said, "Come down here." Come down here. And so she said she smacked him upside <laughs> the head and told him, "What do you mean your mother draws a little bit?" So uh -huh. From that point on, we've been working together oh, in, wow. in all aspects of the, yeah. of the production. Pretty much of all the aspects of the program. Of so y'all became like even more closer with the working. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. We've been. Mm -hmm. I I venture into very few things without mm -hmm. um, discussing with Judith for at least mm -hmm. um, getting her opinion on it or her being a part of it. Right. Um, I I know, Mr. Ernest. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I can't. <laughs> We got to tell the husbands. Yes, we got to keep. We got to make sure that they're straight. Yeah. Um, I do. I keep. I, I pull her into these things, and she just she just comes along, and she says, "Okay, Iris, what do you want to do?" Yeah. You know, and we go out, and we we get to we do these things. Yeah. You know, and and we get in trouble, but yeah. we get we do. <laughs> Man, that is beautiful. So, yeah. let me ask you a question. So, how do it feel to have this world um, premiere coming up? We are, we are so excited yeah, about the red carpet premiere. No, it is it's purple, right? Oh, why everybody keeps saying that? <laughs> yes, well, we have, you know, yeah. our colors for Siri Austin yeah. Entertainment yeah. is, of course, that purple yeah. and that cream. Mm -hmm. And everyone everyone sees that yeah. all the time. Yeah. But it's actually, it's a red carpet mm -hmm. event. Yeah. It's a premiere. Yeah. And you are going to really be surprised what mm -hmm. comes to Richmond. Yeah. Um, we're going to be at um, VCU. 
-hmm. Commonwealth mm -hmm. Ballroom is where it's going to take place. Mm -hmm. The screening is going to take place in the VCU Theater. Mm -hmm. We're really excited about, about that. And we're uh, prior to all of that, we're going to have a press junket. And mm -hmm. that is, of course, when mm -hmm. all the press and mm -hmm. the media comes in mm -hmm. and they're able to go in and ask questions and and um, get to interview the cast and the mm -hmm. crew mm -hmm. and different people that's involved with the production. So we're very, very excited about that. And if you have not gotten your ticket. You hear that? Eventbrite, you hear that? Not yeah, you, you may want to go ahead and get it because it, the last day for sales for that ticket but those tickets are actually March the 4th. Okay. March so March. you want to get that ticket, red carpet, premier event, right here in where? Richmond, VA. Hey, Richmond. Richmond, VA. <laughs> yes. And please support, guys, um, because that's one of the problems that I find out, even with Real Talk, that sometimes we don't like to support our own, but then the first thing somebody says is, why we don't have our own stuff here. Now we have our own stuff here, yes. so let's support. <laughs> Yes, definitely. And real talk, we'll be there. And uh, I, I, I begged Iris, I said, Miss Lee, get me on there. Because <laughs> I said, this is going to be a fantastic night. And, and just like an extended hand, you always want to support our own so they yeah. can do bigger and better projects. Yeah. And not only, but to employ. And that's the next question I'm going to get to. Yes. The actors. I love I love it. What One of the... Um, best parts of doing the filming right here mm -hmm. in Richmond is we have control of crew members, cast mm -hmm. members. Mm -hmm. We get to hire um, those folks. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is we're able to give them, a lot of them, their first time opportunity mm -hmm. to act or to um, work behind the cameras and, and we're able to give them a skill set mm -hmm. that they can now take with them somewhere mm -hmm. else and say mm -hmm. hey I had this experience of working on the set mm -hmm. behind the camera mm -hmm. I had this experience of being a production assistant mm -hmm. for the hard television show I had this experience to be an assistant director mm -hmm. um, for the hard television show so Siri Austin Entertainment was able to open up doors of opportunities for mm -hmm. people to get a skill set mm -hmm. where they cannot they they can't just go and knock on TNT's yeah. um, door or TNT CBS TNT. doors or any of them because the first thing they're going to say is what kind of experiences are the experience are you bringing with you well I'm bringing experience with I'm giving them that experience that they need mm -hmm. in order to do that so yeah, that was me <laughs> It's live, it's 9.15, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yeah. get it too. See, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna mess with Iris. It's name. live. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. But the, but the opportunity. But the opportunity. Yeah. We get, we're giving people opportunities to come in and live out their dreams. Mm -hmm. And that is the most rewarding part yeah. of what it is that I get to do. And you know what? And that is great because I said that too about giving people opportunities. It's yeah. very hard when you have somebody to tell you, you know, first thing that you go to these Hollywood people is what have you done? Exactly. Yeah. They want to know what experience do you have mm -hmm. behind the camera. And if you think about it, you know, rightfully so, because yeah. the equipment that we have to use is very expensive yeah. equipment. Yeah. So they want to make sure that you know how to handle that equipment. Mm -hmm. And what we do when we hire cast members and crew, mm -hmm. crew members, we're giving you that experience by working with um, people like our director, Matthew mm -hmm. Brown, mm -hmm. um, who knows his way around the equipment. He knows knows his way around um, the camera and then we, we're going to put you beside him so that you can learn your way right. around that camera so now when you go to apply for that job or you're looking at a job that's outside of Richmond or mm -hmm. you know somewhere with one of the networks here when you turn in your resume you have that experience written down on there so I love opening yeah. doors of opportunities for people and even acting even in acting, mm -hmm. exactly. Our cast member, um, Ashley, um, Erica yeah, Lee, Lee, who plays Ashley Harrison, mm -hmm. this is her debut. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is her debut, and she did a wonderful, wonderful yes, job. Wonderful job. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, let me, um, now, taking that back, now, let's get back on trying to keep things here. What do we need to do, Iris? Because I want you to make sure we get that, <laughs> we get that point out. You know, um, 
right now with the event, the mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. last three events of our head, three mm -hmm. major events mm -hmm. here, we've done them all here in Richmond. Mm -hmm. 90% of the people who attend those events are people who flew in mm -hmm. from yeah. Chicago, from California, from Florida, from New York, mm -hmm. from all over to be a part of the event. What we mm -hmm. do not see is we do not see Richmond. Richmond is rarely mm -hmm. represented mm -hmm. in the um, the different things that we do. Mm -hmm. Even with the premiere that we're holding mm -hmm. right here mm -hmm. in Richmond, I kept it here in Richmond yes. because it was offered, a number of other cities did offer mm -hmm. to host that mm -hmm. premiere for us, mm -hmm. but I kept it here in Richmond because this is home. Yes. You know, this is home. It is Richmond that is highlighted in the Hard TV series. Hi guys, this is Real Talk with Monica, guys. Guess what? I'm at the screening of season two for the Heart TV series, guys. And guess what? I got the beautiful creator, Miss Iris Bowling, is the creator of the Heart TV series, guys. So I want you to support, guys, and watch the premiere that's coming up on Fox on March the 19th. And also I got the director, Matt Brown, guys. So I want you to stay tuned and enjoy this great interview, guys. So come on and check out. So welcome to Real Talk, Matt. Okay. How you doing? I'm glad to be here. This is this is fantastic. I'm excited. I'm ready to make it happen. I'm just glad to be here. So we talked a little bit before the, you know, doing a little bit Q and A, and you told me this is your first time directing a season two. So how was it? Yeah, working with Iris. I mean, you know, the the content was fantastic. The the acting, mm -hmm. you know, I couldn't ask for a more passionate group of actors, people who really gave their heart right. for the project. Um, you know, just being here, is, it's, just, it's inspired me right. to being a stronger director, I'll tell you that. So how was it, um, you said that this was, you've been doing this for about, what, about 15, 20 years? Working about 15 years professionally, yeah. doing, mm -hmm. working on commercials right. and uh, promos for different companies. I mean, it's, you know, being a creative, that's, that's my heart. That's right. my, you know what I do, mm -hmm. um, but I really enjoy the chance to work with, you know, a, a creative right. who's just as passionate as me. So now we got to bring in the beautiful creator. Absolutely, Miss Alvarez. Welcome back to <laughs> Real Talk, you, Monica. Thank you so much for having me. No, thank you for bringing me here. And this has been this has been a great. And I've just met some of the beautiful cast that you have, and yeah, they I felt wonderful. the love. And they all said that thank you for giving them the opportunity oh. the first time, especially. Um, uh, Tracy, you know, that plays the character, um, and she was telling me that she this is, she's been working with you for about five, you know, six years, yeah. and she and wanted she to has. give up, but you kept it in, and she you gave her inspiration, and then the per, you know, then um, Ashley Harrison, the first time you gave her the role, and she was like. A lot of people just say you gave them a lot of blessings, first time actors. But they gave me a blessing. Yeah. They yeah. gave me a blessing by accepting the roles yeah. and by sharing yeah. their talents yeah. um, with, with all of my fans. Mm -hmm. I mean, they actually brought the characters to life. Right. You know, and I can't thank them enough for yeah. doing that. So the blessing is really mine. Yeah. Um, because they came in and, and, and man, oh my gosh, he was able to just connect with right. them in a way to bring out the very, very best. Right. And they all gave me their best, and I'm so appreciative of that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Adam, I'm just telling you, it's just been a pleasure because from start to finish, you just have a very good type of cast, and we just hope that we just get the same support that we have. Yes. yes. I think so. I think the thing to remember is that I love Richmond. It's home. Yes. And so the thing that's wonderful for me is I get to showcase my home with the world. And that's one of the reasons why I want to make sure that we continue to do the filming here. Uh, and I do hope that Richmond is proud of what they're going to see, how we're going to present them. So I hope they'll be proud of it as well. They will. Please support Richmond. And that's right, Matt. And you want to continue to direct. Is that correct Absolute, here? Absolutely. I mean, you know, I'm just going to say that Iris yeah. got me on for season three. But, yeah. you know, I'll, <laughs> I'll just, we'll figure that out when it happens. Yeah. Cause so. And we, we love the scenery and the, um, and the beautiful scenery that it has and uh, and the music. And I it's hope great. you, to meet, to meet Tamika, that the song is Fighting for Love. That is a, a beautiful, beautiful song. song. It's a beautiful yes. song. 
Yes. Beautiful song. Shout out to Tamika. Yeah. Hope you see this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like I said, guys, please continue to support the Heart TV series. And this is a beautiful gala, guys. And I can't wait to show you all of the beautiful photos, the behind the scenes. The screening is going to be off the chain. And please support the Heart TV series. Subscribe to... Iris Bowling YouTube channel. Please do. Please go out there and subscribe to that channel. It's just one click. Find Iris Bowling and it's spelled I R I S B O L L I N G on YouTube. Thank you. Okay, guys, and watch um, on March the 19th at 10 p.m. the season premiere on season two. Make sure you check it out. If you don't, you see it on the YouTube channel, Iris Bowling. And guys, that is Real Talk with Monica. Hi guys, this is Real Talk with Monica, guys, and guess what? I got the beautiful star, Miss Ashley Harrison, of the beautiful TV series from the writer, creator, and executive producer, Iris Bowden. Welcome to Real Talk. Hello, hello, thank you for having me. This has been a pleasure, and man, I'm sweating and everything, and man, you're beautiful. I seen oh, this beautiful you. lady right here, and I said, man, I got to interview you. So welcome to Real Talk. Tell everybody your real name. I'm Erica Simone Lee. And you the star. Oh. Aw. Oh. I guess. Yeah, I'm the star, I guess. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Are you from the Richmond area? I am. Richmond, VA? Mm-hmm. Is this your first big acting role? This is actually my debut, so this is a really big night for me. This is huge right now. I don't even know how to act. I'm just like, I don't oh, know do man. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so how did it feel to be the star of the moment for the tonight? It's honestly surreal with this being my first acting gig ever, mm -hmm. and I, I got a main role. Like I don't, it's all like a dream right now, but I'm taking it all in. <laughs> Man, I was talking to um, Ira. She was on my show a couple of weeks ago, and she told me a little bit about your character, and she told me that her. Her, that's why she did this type of role. It's a little bit like Scandal, but she giving young African Americans an opportunity to have first time roles. Yes. So how has it been a pleasure to work with Iris and giving you this opportunity? Oh my gosh, I am forever in debt to her for this because I don't, this is not normal. Like whose yeah. first role yeah. is a lead. She's a blessing to me, honestly. And she answered my prayer. She's yeah. in, she's godsend. So, you want to keep this series here in Richmond, is yes, that correct? Yes, yes. RBA has a lot of talent, and I think we just need to push it out there, start pushing. Well, that's why Real Talk with Monica started out in Richmond, because we wanted to bring something from VA, mm -hmm. and because it's hard to get your name, because especially in California oh, yeah. oh, yeah. and big places like in New York, so it's Definitely. good to have, be recognized from homegrown and to be a star. Yes, I'm so blessed, yes. yes. And then you're going to be on Fox. March the 19th. Yes, yes, that's huge. That is so huge for me, yes. So what's your parents say? My mom is so, so happy, so supportive. She knows this is what I wanted since I was a little girl, so she is my number one fan. And my dad was, he passed away actually oh, last wow. year. Actually, a year, March 9th, but I know he's looking down just pushing me on, so I had the greatest support system with my parents. I'm blessed for that. So what you tell the young ladies that's looking in the camera, what you want to tell in special inspiration of words? Well, whenever someone asks me that, I always say follow your heart. Follow your heart. Whatever you do, please just follow your heart. You don't want to get stuck in doing the nine to five, just thinking this is what you have to do with life, but no, you want to wake up every day happy. You want to do what you love to do, so just follow your heart. That's my main advice. And guys, you hear that? That's real talk right there, baby. <laughs> from the beautiful lady, guys. Aww, thank that's you. a beautiful message from America, guys. And continue to support your dreams, because that's what real talk yes. is here. Go for your dreams and go for whatever stars that you want to do. Definitely. And that is real talk. Mark Vincent and Trey May Norris. Welcome to Real Talk. Mark, first tell real talk what you do, man. On TV hot series. I play the role of James Brooks. Um, he's an individual who is basically focused on trying to further JD's political career. Mm -hmm. um, in the midst of that, he starts to develop a relationship mm -hmm. with Ashley. And then there's uh, <coughs> there's some tension uh -huh. uh, from this individual over here that mm -hmm. kind of it 
creates for a complex dynamic, but nothing that James can't really handle. So you know. See, you know, that's what the, you know. Iris must have said that the ad me in the road. See, she she ain't tell you this, right? That you need to have a young lady come on the set. Okay. That a hostess named Monica Ball and start a heated affair. Oh. oh, you ain't hear that, did you? Uh, yeah, I didn't. Oh, you didn't, I didn't get that get memo. That memo. Didn't there get... with James Bush. I didn't yeah. get that memo. Oh. Yeah. That would have been nice. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. And then, season three. Season three. And then I got <laughs> Tremaine over here. Yes. Like, uh, um, you know the moving power. You know you remind me of. Amari? Yes, you did. <laughs> ghost? Yes, sir. You remind me of Ghost Baby. <laughs> I get that sometimes. Yeah, I know you do, babe. I know, I know, Tremaine. Sometimes. Tell everybody your, your character, man. My character is David Holt. Mm -hmm. He is the drama. He is the bad guy of the yes. show. Mm -hmm. He serves up all the craziness. He uh -huh. is crazy. He is yeah. insane. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe he's just under, misunderstood. Misunderstood. Okay. Right. okay. Right. Misunderstood. Maybe a little bit mis misunderstood. Okay. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's a character to watch. That's, okay. That's, that's what I can say about him. Okay. So, how long y'all been um, doing it, your character? So this is the second season. Okay. I was in the first season as well. Okay. Um, second season and hopefully more seasons to come. Oh man, that's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you, how long have you been an actor? I got into acting late in life actually. Oh, okay. I started maybe about five years ago. Oh cool. I love it, it's a true passion. Yeah, definitely. Um, did you go to school for acting? I took acting classes before, like for maybe a year uh -huh. before I started auditioning. Okay. Um, so maybe a total of six classes. Okay. I wanted to make sure I was ready before right. I stepped. I always thought I had like, the Fashion. personality uh -huh. to, to do it, but I wanted to take classes kind of learn my skills. And, okay. And I just jumped right into it. Ms. Brooks. Actually, um, it's pretty much been the exact same path. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we talked about it before. So yeah. It was like around 2000, 2010 for me. Uh -huh. um, and uh, yeah, took classes. Right. Yeah. So how you like being part of the, one of the main main roles in, in the uh, de definitely a blessing. Yeah. Definitely an honor. Um, I think the thing for me that's most exciting is is definitely to work with you know like an actor yeah. you know, like Tremaine because yeah. it's about that that collaboration. Yeah. It's like when we're doing a scene, it's not so much of you know well it's all about me or what am I supposed to do or this is my role. It's it's about no what can we do? Right. How can we make this as real as possible? You know. And, and, and you just kind of you push the ego aside and you focus on you know what do you think about this and he gives his input right. I give my input and then that's how we you know we go forward and we allow you know that authenticity to exist mm -hmm. and to me that's the most exciting part of it. Do y'all have fun together? Do y'all hang oh, out? Out, out the, yeah. yeah. We have fun when we're when we're when we're doing scenes. It is a lot of fun. It is so much. Yeah. Fun. It's yeah. The most fun I had is going up against him. Yeah. Because our you know our scenes are probably some of the most intense right. of the season. Right. And I don't want to give it away, but yeah. you know, it's it's yeah. you gotta watch it. You yeah. have to watch yeah. it. And uh, prep, you know, like you said, it was a collaborative effort, and we did a lot of prepping before each scene to kind of mm -hmm. make sure we were on the same page as far as what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, it, it came out really great. From what I hear, well, I haven't seen anything, but I, yeah. from my experience, I know it had to have come out. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's that's wonderful, man. Because you want to have that brother love, and you want to have that collaboration, because that's only gonna make y'all better. Yeah. And that's, I hope. Um, I love you know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's what it's, that's what it's about, though. Yeah. Brotherly love. Right? Brotherly love. They bro love. They bro love. Yeah. So what um what do y'all would say um some of the encouragement for young actors actually that's want to try to get out there? I think that mm -hmm. you have to. You definitely have to take classes for it. I think yeah. that understanding the craft yeah. and really being able to, it's, it's more than just having, you know, I'm charismatic or I'm attractive or mm -hmm. I'm funny. It's, yeah. it's more than that. You have to understand what it is that you're doing, being able to bring, mm -hmm. you know, your, your, your truth to a specific role or a character. Yeah. And then on top of that, be secure with yourself. Don't do it for other people or attention. It's not about that. I mean, me and Tremaine have showed up at auditions together, and I'm not like, oh, man, I hope I get it. And he doesn't. Like, yeah. we're different people. Not better or worse, good or bad, just different people. So find your truth. Be comfortable with that. You know, give the best that you can, and then go from there. It's not a. It's not about did I book this or I didn't. So keep that, keep that calm and that control. It's bigger than just the idea of, like, well, if I didn't book something, then that means that I did something wrong. No, it doesn't. You know, prepare and do the best that you can, stay focused with it, but don't go into it like it's a competition because it's not. Yeah, work hard, put your best foot forward, 
but realize that no matter how hard you work sometimes, you might not get that role that you're going out for. Um, but you just got to keep at it. And I'll also say this, have a good imagination. If you want to be a good actor, you have to be like almost childlike, how children are. Yeah. Big imagination. Yeah. Yeah. That is a good one of the good tools to have to be an actor. I'm glad you said it because you got to work at your craft because even with me being a hostess, I don't know everything and I don't try to claim to, but I work at my craft every day. And I think that's one of the keys that I'm taking from both of y'all guys because even that, I'm working on my PhD in business, but I'm constantly trying to get myself to position myself into better places. Yeah. So I'm liking this real talk. Absolutely. That's what we keep it, baby. Yeah, 100. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> that's yeah. what it is. That's right. And I hope some young kids see this, guy. Absolutely. Keeping at it. Get inspired. Yes. You know, look at us yes. as role models and yes. try to follow us in our yeah. footsteps and do better than us. Yes. And it, it ain't all it is about looks. It's all about putting the content in the right content. Yeah. That's exactly what yeah. it's about. Putting in that effort, that time, and dedication. It's not hard. I mean, it's not easy. It's going to be a lot of hard work, but yeah. if you stick with it, you can go places. And you, you yeah. have to take that journey within, too. Mm -hmm. You really need to know yourself. Some of the areas that are darker areas or yeah. off limits, yeah. you have to go there in yeah. order to be able to, to truly be able yeah. to express something that's truthful on the screen. Because yeah. anytime, it's, if, if, it's, if it's not real, if it's not coming from a truthful place within yourself, yeah. the camera's going to catch it every gonna time. It's going to catch it. The authenticity. And then also, how about um, presenting yourself well, too. And y'all guys look presentable and nice, and that's why I tell these young kids to also take away your ownership and how you look as well. Yeah. Or present, present yourself with it. Absolutely. Yeah. Completely agree. You did great. Alright. Alright, man. Thank y'all. And support the hot guys. Yeah. Watch the hot. March the 19th. On Saturdays Fox. at 10. 10 p.m. Support the heart. That's real talk. Hi guys, this is Real Talk with Monica, guys, and guess what? I had to stop by and get the beautiful lady in red, man. This way it had been waiting all day long, and I had to stop by and got more of the beautiful cast from the TV series, The Heart Guys. So, I'm gonna let this woman introduce herself, and she's beautiful, and she's taking my job away from me. So, oh, Monica. <laughs> Thank you for having me on the show. I play Tracy Washington Harrison, and my real name is Morgan Avery McCoy. Morgan, tell the viewers a little bit about yourself and your character. Oh, well, first I'm an actress, an mm -hmm. author, a motivational speaker, and a minister. I travel the world um, just doing my shows, and I love telling quality stories, and so that is why I'm so passionate about playing right. Tracy in the heart. Right. Um, my character, she's very loving and kind, patient, uh, but you don't want to cross her. So uh, Tracy, in this particular season she's supporting Ashley as Ashley is getting ready to get married and right. so Ashley is her best friend who's now about to become her sister-in-law so it's right. a lot going on also Tracy is pregnant and so you know women are a little hormonal yes. during that time um, and so you kind of the first season was about Tracy and JD Harrison's yes. love story and so yes. now this season you see the, the you know JD sister Ashley and she's about to get married right. and um, you know us supporting them in that way and, and JD's about to run for office so right. Tracy's going through a lot of changes in this particular season so well because I was doing a little research but I was looking up on um, you have a little those little trusting friends kind of kind of keep their eyes on you, JD's friends. Yeah. You know, yeah. like to kind of think that he got like little motives behind you. Do you yeah. kind of feel that type of way? You know, like JD's friends always watching your motives. And I stuff? think it's more protection. Yes. Just to make sure, and I think it really speaks volumes of the characters that mm -hmm. I was created, where you have these men that are chivalrous, where they are protectors, they're providers, and so they look out for each other and each other's women. Right. And so that's kind of so Brian looking out for yeah. Ashley and Tracy right. making sure that we're straight you know yeah. and so that's something that I liked in the show and I hope that we see more of that in reality so yeah I'm, I was glad you <laughs> yeah, said it because yeah. I saw that because I'm glad you brought up Brian's name because yeah. he's always the kind of cunning the guy the protective the protector, almost yeah. like a little bit like the young and the rest is like Jack you know, that character that's always the clean-up guy, that's always yeah, he's, cleaning. He's a yeah. fixer. He's yeah, a the fixer, fixer. Yeah, the fixer yeah, kind of yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad you said that because um, I just, like I said, I was just getting a little bit background of the story. Mm -hmm. And just like I just talked to Ashley's character. Yes. Is, was this your first time working with Morris? No. 
Oh, no, no, no. Okay. We, I started with Iris before uh -huh. there was a season. Okay. So, um, actually, we, Aaron and I both, Aaron, play, Aaron Wiggins plays J.D. Harrison, okay. and we were cast in the book trailer. Okay. So, before it was a TV show concept, okay. it was a book trailer, and that was like five years ago. Wow. And so, that um, was when I met Iris, and mm -hmm. it's interesting because I had prayed, and I just was like, I'm thinking about giving up acting, I was like, if I don't get book this next role, I'm quitting. Yeah. And, um... I meet Iris, and right. it's just amazing, you know, and I'm so glad to have mm -hmm. met her at the time that I met her, and so many things have happened in my career since then, yeah. and so it was a real pivotal point for me, mm -hmm. and she told Aaron and I, she says, you are Tracy Morgan, and Aaron, you are JD, one day I'm going to write a TV show for you guys, right. and she did, like, who, people don't do that, but she did it, you know, and so Iris, I love her, she is just amazing, and she's given all of us such a great opportunity to tell these, you know, portray these characters, you know, with such great character art, so. You got a beautiful spirit, and it just oh, it radiates. So it does, and I just hope a lot of good things happen for you, because that's what God has pre prevails over people like you, and that's like you always want to the good lady to prevails at the end, and that's why I hope your character survives and the series does a beautiful you. things, and I hope great success. Thank you. So and that's why I want y'all to watch the Heart TV series. Yes. March the 19th. March the 19th. You don't want to miss it. You don't. And no. what time is it, Trey? 10 p.m. Saturdays at 10 p.m. And if you're not in the Richmond area or you're traveling, you can log on to the YouTube, Iris right. Bowling's YouTube. Become a subscriber yeah. and you'll be able to see the show. Hashtag Tracy. Hashtag TV <laughs> Hot Series. And that's real talk. Thank you so much. All right. And this is one of them. This is one of the glorious days, guys. So I want my ladies to sit back and relax to this great episode that I'm showing you here at the screening of the Heart TV series, guys. So let me welcome you to Real Talk, Malachi. So tell the ladies how are you doing? I'm doing really well. Really, really excited. Really excited. Can't wait to see the screening. So we, you were telling us you was running a little bit late. Yeah, man. I, <laughs> trying to find parking, you know. But I, I'm here now, so... So tell the viewers a little bit about your character. Uh, well, my character is Brian Thompson. He plays the peacemaker. You know, he's JD's best friend, the bodyguard. He's there for everybody. So. That's okay. So um, is this your first acting role? Um, not my first acting role. My first big role. Okay. <laughs> but I've been in I've been in some other stuff. Okay. Short films, stage plays, music videos. Okay. So do you stay here currently in Virginia? No, I actually stay in Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I was just doing a little bit of research. So you have family out in L.A.? I do, I do. Okay, you a Lakers fan, man? Uh, of course. Oh, man, course. I'm a Lakers fan, man. I'm trying to see Kobe one more time, One more man. time. One, one more time. time. He needs to stay. Yeah, one he needs to stay. Man, he's goat. He's goat of all times, man. I'm trying see, to get know, out there. I know I like you. <laughs> man, that's real talk. That's how we do, man. Let's get back on the heart, man. Tell me, um, what are the great things of working with Iris and the cast? Oh, man, the relationships. Right. We all just click. She always finds the right characters, the right people to get along. They're everybody just family. Right. When we, all, when we all see each other, it's just it's like we all click, man. It's, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Well, I can see that everybody like one another, everybody yes. get along, and, and it seems and she like... Don't she, she don't play. She don't play. <laughs> she, does, she like Mama, Mama Iris on yes, the set. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. <laughs> that's great, man. So what were some of the things that you want to tell some of people that's seeing you about up-and-coming roles? Well, I just want them to keep a lookout for me. I'm, I'm still working, doing things under the table, so hopefully you'll see me on that big screen. Just keep a lookout for me. Okay, you hear that, guys? Um, anybody that want to check out Malachi and anything he's doing, make sure you see him. He's, okay. he's an up-and-coming actor. Mm -hmm. Check him out. And you can go on Facebook and see me on Malachi Jr., M-A-L-A-C-H-I, Jr. spelled out. You hear that? And he ain't bad to look on the lines, ladies. So, like I said, support Real Talk with Monica, guys. And also check out the Heart TV series March the 19th because that's Real Talk. Hi guys, this is Real Talk with Monica, guys. I got the beautiful Gwendolyn Brooks that plays on the TV series Heart, guys. And hey, I want you to introduce you. So, welcome to Real Talk. Hi, I'm Gina Blunt Jones, and I play the character of Gwendolyn Brooks. She's the wife to Tommy Ford, Avery Brooks on the show. Oh, right, man. Welcome to Real Talk. So tell the viewers a little bit about Gwendolyn Brooks. 
Well, Gwendolyn Brooks is the wife to the most powerful man, Avery Brooks, um, the attorney. And she's a mother figure, and she's the person that you don't want to cross. <laughs> it's very, very oh. amazing. Oh, wow, man. So I see there's a lot of great things in store for this character. So what you want to tell any actor that's looking to get into the role, to any acting? Well, if you're interested in acting, do your research, do your homework. It's going to take some financial planning, too, because it's not an easy road to travel. And definitely stay on your knees in prayer. And, you know, you can do okay with that. And you hear that, ladies, and you hear that, gentlemen. So I always pray. And also, and you always want to stay in your craft, too, and also take acting classes. Take well. acting classes. You definitely need that because there's a lot of skilled actors out here that you're competing with. Yeah. You definitely want that. And you hear that, guys? And so what we said, we're going to check out the hard on what day? On March the 19th, 10 o'clock, Saturday nights. Turn your TVs on, or you can catch us on YouTube. This is for, um, subscribe to Iris Bowling YouTube page. And you hear that? You. you hear that, guys? And make sure you check out this beautiful lady, guys, because she's turning up the heat, and I can feel it, on March the 19th. And that is Real Talk. Welcome to Real Talk with Monica, guys. I got the governor trying to take over my spot from TV Hot Series, all right? We already could connect. Big Mike, he's already going to say he's going to be on my show live when it come on Comcast. But, and he's even going to be on the com on podcast, okay? Let me introduce you to Real Talk, man. Introduce. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead and take over the spot. All right. <laughs> You're tuning in with Gavin Roberts, mm -hmm. the governor. Mm hmm of the Heart Television Series mm -hmm. Season 2. Mm -hmm. um, it's exciting to time out here in RVA. Um, tune in live. You couldn't be here. You should have been here. Real Talk Monica is here. But right. March 19th, 10 p.m., check us out on Fox. Um, mm -hmm. It's an exciting time out here in RVA. And, um, Man, Mike, it's, it's, tell it's everybody about your character, the girl. All right. Gavin, yeah. Gavin the governor. Yeah, um, Gavin the governor. Tell a little bit about your okay. character. Okay. All right, know, now get back into character acting. Right, man. okay. <laughs> yeah, I know Gavin, he's an um, authority figure as okay. well, but he's also, um, somehow he got put on as a player. Okay. That's not me. Okay. That's just a character. That's his character. And that's real. That's real. <laughs> but um, actually, mm -hmm. JD is the better governor. Okay. I'm behind the scenes. Mm hmm. Really pushing him to be governor because mm -hmm. he's going to be the president mm -hmm. in the next 10, 12 years. Yes, sir. So, um, yeah, it's a lot going on, mm -hmm. you know, with Gavin. He's um, laid back, reserved, mm -hmm. aware, yes, focused. Okay. And um, an authority figure. Okay. And don't forget that. Don't forget that. Back to you, Monica. Okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, let's keep it real now. Let's keep it. Let's get it serious now. Okay. How long have you been a distinguishing actor in the Richmond VA area? I've been acting for probably about eight years, modeling for probably about 12. So you got your modeling swag on? Of course. Okay. Okay. You want me to walk? Okay. Oh, yeah, let's do your walk. Chasse. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm hot. I'm bad. Back to you, Monica. Okay. <laughs> Now, don't y'all see this? I think we make a, a a duo need to be on the show. I see this already. Now, this this man, we already getting this she's, connection, Gavin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. She's manifesting something, y'all. Tune in. I'm I'm serious. This gonna this gonna be this gonna be a winner. I think this. this yeah. Gonna, we can, it's, it's we can feel it. We can feel it. They feel it's it. It's gonna happy. be epic. It's gonna be the comedy hour. Ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna. Yeah, it's gonna be. We gonna team it up. We gonna team it up. We might turn up, but it'll be real talk though. Okay, we're teaming it up. I'm serious. I'm serious, Mike. I'm serious. Oh, I already, I'm telling you, you already manifested. Okay, serious. Now, let's get back to the heart now. Okay, get back to the heart. Got the business card. It's real. <laughs> Check out Monica Real Talk. It's coming. It's here. Be there. RealtalkwithMonica.com is coming. But I'm okay. um, serious now. Let's get back on the heart now. The heart. The heart. Yes, yeah, the heart TV. With love. Yeah. Drama and yeah. suspense and mm -hmm. true your everyday world. I know y'all can relate to that, people. Yeah. The heart is amazing. This is season two. Yeah. We got four, five more seasons going. Y'all ready? Yeah. It was dynamic tonight. Just the first hour. Wow. Just the first. Man. man Ashley, sold out. Yeah. You should have got your ticket.
excited to be here for the heart, the gala. Um, so came straight here. Tomorrow we're rolling again with uh, oh, Tom Joyner, Malik Yoba. So we're rolling. So, you know, BW Enterprise is still doing its thing as always. Glad to be with my girl here today. Thank you, man. And, and if Cousin Vincent, he gave me the opportunity to meet Iris Bowling for the heart. So this is just a payback, guys, you know, to get me here to have this beautiful presentation for a real talk. Day. Hi guys, this is Real Talk with Monica Gass. I'm at the TV Heart Series premiere, guys. And guess what? I have the beautiful Deborah Mellon, guys. And she's a publisher, guys. And she's coming out with a book that's coming out on March the 29th, guys. And it's going to be her, what, 34th? My 34th title. Oh, Very excited wow, about man. It. I'm getting excited, too, man. So tell the Real Talk viewers a little bit about yourself. I have been writing since forever, uh -huh. was published 12 years ago by BET Books. Uh, oh, wow. Now I write for Harlequin Kamani, Kensington Defina, and I have my own imprint, McGregor Press, uh, where I release my literary books from. Man, I gotta talk to this lady because Real Talk got a Real Talk store. <laughs> real life, real store. Because when this woman almost died, and came back to life, I got a story, baby. Okay. And that's how this vision came about. <laughs> I love a story. I love a story. Yes, man, yes. I love it. And I love women that's empowerment to come in to build their own empowerment. And I, I love that. It's very important. Yes. And I like to use my writing to encourage yes. women and uh, uplift our black men and, yes. and just tell a great story. So how, why are you here tonight to support Iris? Uh, Iris is one of my dearest, dearest friends, Jane. one of my, my, my book girls, and I couldn't be anywhere else but here. Oh, right. I love that. So um, how long have you been knowing Iris? Well, Iris and I have known each other for a good five, six years now. It seemed like I've been seeing the love and support that that I'm feeling in the room, just capturing this tonight. Uh, this book community is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. uh, it is black women supporting one another, mm -hmm. writers supporting one another. Mm -hmm. It's nothing but love. Oh, right. I can feel it through the room. <laughs> That's great. So tell, um, just getting back on a little bit, back on to your titled stuff that's coming out on March the 29th. Tell a little bit of preview of what you got going on on the 29th. Uh, this is my third series mm -hmm. with Kensington Dupina. Okay. It's the Bad Boys of Boulder, Colorado. Mm. And it's a story of two twin brothers who aren't always as brotherly as they want to be and throw a woman into the mix and all kind of fireworks happen. It, uh, guilty pleasures. Is you going to have a premiere coming on? Um, I'm always having something, you never know. Last week I had a literary tea party in Durham, North Carolina, so there's always something. Well, you better call Real Talk on that, baby. <laughs> you see, how we do things. We have our purple carpet, our banner, and we bring it on the team, baby. You hear that? We bring it. Well, we and will definitely make sure you're there. Because we bring it. We, we got our viewers calling in, and we're going to have our live show, and we got our van and our Real Talk team. So you better call Real Talk. We will call Real okay. Talk. It's All right. We pleasure. heard that. We're going to hold their tea, their tea, <laughs> that tea, baby, because we bring down Carolina. Because I got a little southern speed tea. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, baby. I love that. But, Deborah, thank you. But all seriousness, I, I'm glad you're here to support Iris and her journey because we need to support real, realness, and that's realness from the heart. I agree and with we you need to, we need to support the heart. And, well, thank you. And it's thank you for coming by the Red Carpet event for Real Talk. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. And I'm check you out on what day? March the March 29th. 29th. And where can we find your information on? DebraMello.blogspot.com or Google Deborah Fletcher Mello. I'm all over the internet. You hear her? She's all over. And I'm going to see her when she's got her stuff. And that is real talk. Hi, guys. This is Real Talk with Monica, guys. It's been a pleasure, guys. And guess what? Man, it's an honor. I'm here with an outstanding author, publisher that did over 70 some books, man. And she is fabulous, glam, and more. The beautiful, accomplished, and all and more. Miss Beautiful Jacqueline Thompson. Welcome to Real Talk. Thank you. Thank you. It's so great to be here. Man, I'm just sitting back and just sitting back, and somebody said, You got to put this woman on camera. <laughs> 
So I'm glad that just to have you on my red carpet event. So tell the viewers a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Jacqueline Thomas. I am the author of over 70 books. I am also the CEO of Brown Girls Books and the publishing manager for my own imprint, Jacqueline Thomas Presents, which is under the Brown Girls umbrella. So basically, I am a wife, mom, sex goddess, driver, chauffeur, businesswoman. Um, Jacqueline, how did you start it off with you know, with your organization, was you started off being as a writer at the beginning? Um, yes, I've been a writer for 20 years. I've been a published author for 20 years. Okay. I started writing when I was in third grade. Okay. And at 16, I wrote my first book oh, wow. where I killed my first boyfriend who dumped me for another girl. Oh, wow. I killed him in a story. And once I realized how cathartic that was, writing just became my passion. Oh, wow. Yes. And so in the last year, I've started to take on another role, which was the pub on the publishing side of things. Oh, wow. So what will you tell anybody that's some of the difficulties in publishing? Um, well, the, the publishing industry is changing. Yes. It has changed. Right. And so basically, you have to know the market. So I would say read what's out there mm -hmm. so that you know what's, what's being published. Um, and the thing is, there are opportunities that you can do this yourself. So writers now have more control over their future right. as, a, as a published author. Wow. So what would you say to anybody that's looking to submit any writings to you to? Um, definitely go to the Brown Girls website, which is www.browngirlsbooks.com and check out the submission guidelines. Please read the submission guidelines because if you don't follow those, most likely the book gets sent back to you. Wow. So, um, have you ever encountered any writer's block like some people say? You know, I never have. Right. I never had writer's block. Wow, that's something. I've been fortunate. So tell me, how, did, how long have you known Iris? Um, I actually met her when she was about to publish her first book. Oh, wow. Yes, and she reached out to me for some advice, mm -hmm. and she just won my heart, and mm -hmm. so I've been a supporter of hers all these years later, so I'm so proud of her, and to see her, you know, on this night, and all these accomplishments, that she, you know, everything is just, I'm so proud of her. It's like watching your child go off to college, uh -huh. and graduate, and do great things. That's kind of how I feel with Iris. She's so special. It seemed like you almost like a mentor or a mom, just like, like you just have that. Well, I do. I mentor yeah. writers across yeah. the country, and, and so I was glad to be able to give her some advice, and she's a wonderful writer. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, she's a wonderful writer, and so it, it was easy. I feel like you just you just give that 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 motherly guidance that to yeah, you. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, I can feel that across just interviewing. That's you. me. Mm -hmm. That is very because even with my imprint with Brown Girls Books, it's actually a mentoring imprint, uh -huh. and that's where we look for new writers who. Um, most publishers may not pick up. Uh -huh. I will actually take a chance and, and just really help them develop into the writers that they can be. Okay, so man, I just want to glad you for coming back, Jacqueline Thomas, and thank you for doing this beautiful interview. Thank you. And thank you for coming from Real Talk, and man, continued all the support, and hopefully things will continue to have great things. Enjoy the screening, and that thank is Real you. Talk. Hi guys, this is Real Talk with Monica. I had to stop by and grab this beautiful fan from Chicago on the TV series The Heart. Right. So I had to grab you. You was giving the governor a run for his money. Well, if you knew me from last year, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I had to give a, a Shot Town fan on camera. I am a fan, and I am Mark Vincent's number one fan. Oh, right. Tell the viewers yeah. a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm an avid reader. I'm from Chicago. I'm an emergency room nurse for 30 years. I'm a grandmother of a wonderful grandson who holds my heart, and I am one of Iris Bowman's biggest fans. I met them last year. I came to Richmond by myself, and you guys opened your arms to me, mm -hmm. and... I'll be here every year. That is and beautiful. every other thing that Iris needs, I'll be here for her. That is beautiful to see that, because I remember my interview to Iris on my show live, mm -hmm. and she told me she had fans from Chicago and elsewhere that was coming here to support her. Me and our friend Midnight, uh -huh. we're from Chicago, and a lot more people. Everybody in my office knows mm -hmm. about the Heart series. Mm -hmm. When I go back, everybody's going to subscribe, right. or I'm not giving no good evals.
That is beautiful. And I'm hoping. And I'm the boss. I love that. I like a boss lady. I'm a boss. And if they don't subscribe to the Heart Series, then it's going to show up in their evaluations. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm a boss lady, too, because I'm real talk, baby. And that's I keep it real. real. Thank you. That's, that's real talk. <laughs> thank you for having me. And thank you for coming. Hi guys, this is Real Talk with Monica, guys. You hear that background noise, guys? Man, you hear it. We are killing it here in VA at the season two premiere at Iris Bowling. Man, <laughs> I am wore out, man. They just keep coming and coming and coming with the interviews. It has been a pleasure because I have best winning selling author, Miss Angie Daniels, and she just telling me a little sneak peek of she got a book coming out on Tuesday guys. You hear me Tuesday. So come on out Miss Beautiful Angie Daniels. Welcome to Real Talk. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Oh man. Tell the viewers a little bit about your book that's coming out Tuesday. Okay. Well I'm Angie Daniels and I'm doing something totally different. Stepping okay. out of my comfort zone. Decided to try a little paranormal erotic romance. So Woo. You, yes. So if you like uh, werewolves and uh -huh. you like an alpha man, I got something for you. Man, that's real talk. I like me some alpha man <laughs> and some paranormal. I like it all, baby. <laughs> that's what we do at Real Talk. We cut up. <laughs> Absolutely. So it's, the title is Wild About Her. Wild About Her. Hmm. Man, you hear that? Ladies on Real Talk viewers, my, I'm almost 40,000 viewers. You hear that? You got to purchase this book. Where can we find this book at? You can come to my website, www.angiedaniels.com. Okay. And you'll have a link to take you to Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Okay, cool. So what are the books you have done, Angie? Um, I have over 32 books published. Oh, cool. Uh, both as uh, Angie Daniels and okay. also as Sasha Campbell. Okay, cool. I want you to come on my show because we're going to start out a podcast. Okay. I mean, this summer. Um, seriously, I'm serious because we got Nikki Shira coming and we got a lot of books. We're starting up a lot of good series with authors. I got Amanda Kent Broad because we want to um, promote a lot of VA authors. That'd be great. So Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I don't want yeah, to. Definitely. My real talk girl. We got to have some real hey, women that come on. Real talk. We both real talk, baby. We, so we here to support VA women, guys. So we got to get some VA women. Absolutely. So I'm glad Miss Lee brought this Real Talk girl on board, baby. Hey, I'm here. We here, baby. So continue to support Real Talk on Monica, guys, because that's Real Talk. That's right. Hi, guys. This is Real Talk on Monica, guys. And guess what? This man represent, baby. He got my purple. He represented my color. This Sean Jones, he was the photographer and editor of the Heart TV series, guys. He represented big time for Iris Bowling. So, guys, let me introduce you to Real Talk, guys, to Mr. Sean Jones. Welcome to Real Talk. Man, what's going on, man? Hanging in there. Man, we look, before we was got on camera, you was cutting it up. Well. <laughs> you going to L.A. a couple of weeks, yeah, ain't it, right? Weeks, yeah, going to see the Clippers. Clippers, yeah, man. Against Portland. But you, you know, I understand you're a Lakers fan. You know I'm a Lakers fan, man. I got to see Kobe <laughs> Bean Brand one more time, baby. <laughs> Before you leave out, man, it's going to be a beautiful thing, L.A. Love so, man, how was it tonight? It was awesome. It was awesome. Great premiere, great yeah. first show. I think the crowd was really into it. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it, being the second season, it's always hard to do something the second time. The first time, you really don't know what's happening. Right. But uh, to come up with that second time, the sophomore, right. you know, project is usually can be, you know, you got a lot of people that can scrutinize it and try to figure out you know, what is good. What, but I think we really have a good product this time around. Who are here to support us and celebrate with us. Thank you all very, very much for joining us. Come back. Party with us and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.